Okay, so we are here today with Alyssa. She is a 14-year-old young lady who has had migraine headaches since she was six years old. And those have been every month, at least twice a month. She has uh, told us that it's caused her not to be able to go to school on certain days. It's caused a lot of disruption in the home life and made her very tired as far as being able to get through life and function on a daily basis. Is that about right? That's right. Okay. So right now we are looking at Alyssa's leg length. And you can see by that scale, each one of these lines is a quarter of an inch. And Alyssa's right leg is an inch shorter than her left leg before her adjustment with her atlas out of alignment. Okay, now what we're doing is we are scanning Alyssa's cervical spine. And I'm feeling for tight and tender points. I'm actually pressing on the nerve roots of C1 and C2, as well as scanning the rest of Alyssa's cervical spine. So Alyssa, I feel that it's a little bit tender right there. Do you agree? Yes. And a little bit right there, but not quite as much. Yeah. On this right side, no. it's even more tender right there. Yeah. And more tender right there. In fact, I feel a little bit like yeah. you're jumping to try and get yeah. away from me. So that's a pretty good sign that that is basically telling us that Alyssa's atlas is definitely out today. So we need to adjust and get her corrected. Now, the Atlas Orthogonal Precision Adjusting Instrument helps us to do a very specific adjustment to the Atlas, which is the top bone of the spine. So I'm looking at Alyssa's x-ray right here, which is going to help us get the exact vectors for her specific adjustment. Every individual has an adjustment that's as specific as their own fingerprint. So Alyssa, I'm going to have you lay down on the instrument right here on your right side. And we're just going to bring your head just over the edge of the head piece. All right, perfect. I'm going to have you come a little further towards your head, please. Good, thank you. Let's touch your chin just a little bit. There. Thank you. Now, I've been adjusting Alyssa for about three weeks, and we have not had to adjust her atlas every time, while we have made wonderful strides with getting rid of her headache. And again, every single time we do the adjustment, we have to make sure that the head placement is just perfect. And we have to make sure that the shoulder is in the right position. So, Alyssa, I'm going to have you bring the shoulder a little bit down towards your feet, please. Good. And back towards me just a little bit. Thank you. And good. Now that we've done that, I'm checking to make sure the atlas is just perfectly in the middle so that the adjustment is just right. Getting her head height just perfect. Because what we're doing is we're aligning the cervical spine and the head so that when we do the adjustment, one little precise adjustment to the atlas will make her atlas go exactly where it needs to be and remove the pressure from her brain stem and her nervous system. And that is as rough as the adjustment gets. Please come up and have a seat on this Thank you. And now I'm going to check her atlas again, cervical scanning. And right away, that doesn't hurt. Mm -hmm. That's a bunch better. That doesn't hurt. I'm feeling all four of those points again. And that one doesn't hurt. Is that right? Yes. That is okay. Yeah, it's better. And as I feel amazing. the rest of her neck, everything else is loosening up. All the muscles are moving in the proper direction. So that Alyssa's atlas is definitely in the right spot. Now I'm going to have Alyssa lay down and rest so that we can make sure that her body actually gets to accommodate for the adjustment that we just made. Okay, so now we have adjusted Alyssa's atlas, and as you can see, her right leg went from an inch short to almost exactly even, and that is perfect.